Welcome to another daily recap for Wednesday, December 13, 2023. You are looking at a chart of the SPY or Spiders, which tracks the S&P 500 index. Everything after the vertical dotted line is Wednesday's activity in the Spiders, and the three horizontal lines are levels that were calculated and put on the chart before the market opened this morning. I mentioned in yesterday's video that I would not be in an active trade when the Fed announcement about interest rates was made today. Sometimes the announcement's coming at 1 p.m. Eastern, sometimes it's 2 p.m. I put a line in the sand at around 12.40 a.m., 12.40 p.m. as a time when I want to stop any trade in the E-minis from triggering off these daily levels on days with important Fed announcements. So before 12.40, there really wasn't much going on. No levels were hit. So I closed up shop around 12.30 a.m. Keep saying a.m. 12.30 p.m. You know the time. Looking at how the spiders reacted to interest rates announcements now, it's clear that three of these levels in the morning were hit. But again, I didn't want to be in any trade at any of these levels at the time. But since we're on the board, I thought we'd go ahead and take a look at them anyway. It's interesting to see where the spiders stopped as they rocketed up right after 2 p.m., after the 2 p.m. announcement. They hit 466.57 and 4.67.14 on the penny and pulled back a little each time before continuing higher. It looks like the first one at 466.67 didn't pull back enough to provide a base hit, but the next level up would have worked. It did pull back enough. Um, but overall, you wouldn't have wanted to be in a short trade in front of this freight train. What would have probably happened since the pullback at 466.67 wasn't enough to pull a base hit out, you would have had to add to the next position and then add to the next position. You would have three short positions in play at one time. And just looking at this without really analyzing the exact price action, it looks like it would have been a fumble after all three levels were averaged in. Probably a reversal, probably a base hit on the reversal, but also a very big loss, most likely on the reversal with all these trades averaging together. So, you know, you're, obviously you want to be on the long side of this trade and buy a pullback, but no levels were hit farther down. So uh, it, it, is, it is interesting, however, to see how even as the spiders were on this tear going up like what 60 S&P points in a short amount of time, these levels still had importance. You notice there wasn't some level from this morning that say was around here or something when the, where the spiders would have just, you know, busted right through. But no, the levels were that were calculated and put on the chart. They did provide interim resistance each time the spiders came up into them. So just interesting. But all in all, another trade, another day with no trades, at least not using this strategy. We'll take a look at the tracking log just to bring this full circle. So here you go, the uh, latest updated log. I hope you found this information interesting and helpful. Have a great day.